So here I have my simple code example of how to use suspense. I have my two components, one called magic answer, the other one called unexpected thing. And as you can see, this is how I use suspense. I just wrap my components with suspense and I define loading component or a component with text loading as uh, the fallback attribute. And this is what happens when I refresh the page. I see my loading te text, and then after a while, I have my um, my answers, my answers of life, important questions answered finally. <coughs> Excuse me. Both of those components are using some kind of service, right? So suspense will not display any of the components inside of it until all of their service calls finish. What does it mean? Let's say I want to add another component here inside of my suspense, but this time this is just going to be a regular text that displays, hey, oh, wrong button. As you can see here, I'm gonna refresh it again so you, you can see it more clearly. I don't see my hey text displayed immediately. Why? Let me see that again, because magic answer and unexpected thing hadn't finished their fetching yet. And because of that, suspense didn't, didn't display anything. Let me refresh the page again. As you can see, I only see the loading text and hey is being displayed only after all of the fetching is done. Now let's see what happens when I have suspense inside of another suspense. As you can see here, I moved my unexpected thing component into a suspense that also defines a fallback, but this time color red, because I want to make it distinguishable easily. So let's say what happens. I'm refreshing my page. I see my loading text and I see another loading. So what happened here is that this component, this unexpected thing component didn't start fetching its data until the whole uh, the inside of the top suspense component was rendered. So what happened was that this suspense, this the, the top suspense was waiting for the magic answer to finish rendering. Once it did, this suspense could start waiting for the unexpected thing component. So let's take one more look. I click refresh. I saw my initial loading and then again, while this information was being fetched, then the other suspense kicked in and that was the result. So that's pretty much it. One thing worth mentioning is that, as I said in the beginning of this video, currently React Team only recommends using suspense with the Re Relay library, uh, GraphQL library. Because of that, it's not available for all data calls. And in order to use suspense currently, as of now, as of the time of making this video, at least, you have to wrap all of your promises, all of your asynchronous data calls into this logic. You have to return an object with the read function. And that's how you will tell uh, suspense that, hey, I actually want to use you because if you don't, this will not work. As I said, the React team wants to use Suspense for all kinds of data fetching. So maybe in React 20, 21, 22, I don't know. In the future, we won't have to wrap our promises with that. But hey, that's the future. So please leave a like if you enjoyed this content. Uh, subscribe and leave a comment. And also let me know if you want me to cover any other topic. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.